You're walking through the streets of Konya. Uh, I'll take you a short walk uh, so you can see what is happening. Uh, this is a religious, uh, most religious place in Turkey, or so it seems. And um, when the mosques are calling, you can really hear it loud and clear from all the mosques all over the place. And they're going at it now. Uh, you can see here so many shops, and as I've told you, there are something you have to have here. Also, you are told by some of our Turkish friends. It's called Etli Ekmek. And as we see here, we have a salon for that Etli Ekmek here. But uh, already on the way in to Konya, I saw many, many, many signs. Uh, saying they have Etli Ekmek so I'll I have no idea what it is right now but I will show you once we get hold of it at some point which I'm sure we will anyway uh, I will get back to you when there's a more to review right now it's just here in the streets temperature is pretty much like Alanya not much new here and um, I would say yeah, it's the same temperature. Uh, maybe a few degrees lower, but all in all the same. Uh, dress code here is more relaxed. Let's, less beach wear. Less tourists. Not so many tourists here. But um, anyway, I'll get back to you in a sec. Bye. It's time to go to somewhere in Konya. Uh, right here at this lovely mosque, there is also something else. The underground market. Now, I don't know what will meet us there, but let's go and have a look, see what is down here. Lovely warm. Three pair of socks for 30 euro. That's the first offer, but it should be a lot of different things in here. Reminds me of those underground markets in South Korea. Bags, shoes. Lots of copies, women's clothes. Lots of shirts, scarves, more shirts. Really nice clothes. And a baker. Why not? There's clothes for children. Bags, shoes. And that's this end of the market. Let's go through the market again. And see what we have on the other side. Ice cream, one and a half lira. I will, of course, as usual, give you a Google map. You know where it is. It's not that big, but they do have stuff here. And the prices seem quite low. That's really low. In there. 15 euro for, for a big jacket. Oh. Yeah, come on, 
bags. 20 liter. It's really cheap. Wow. That's really nice. So, you can go here for some really good bargains, it seems, and they have really nice stuff. Uh, I recommend you go here and, well, bring a lot of cash. It seems there's lots of stuff to buy. Kind of it is these houses, these style houses, and the streets are blocked off. You get everything here. It's, it's my first time here, so I really don't know that much yet. But we'll figure it out. So this is the jeweler part of it. It's supposed to be so that every part of this market is divided into categories. So this obviously is the jeweler market. There's also a sugar part where you have all the goodies. There's a closed part down there. There you have a close. So every part of the market has something different. Every street has something different. Um, this is the jewelry street. Find all kinds of jewelry here. Competitive prices, of course, since they're all here. And then here we have men's clothes, more jewelry, shoes. Sorry about the the sun. The sun is very bright, so getting the hell of the camera right now. Of course we have a lovely mosque in the middle. And this is all walking streets. So no cars, but you have the odd motorbike once in a while. And there are cars, but they're the ones that come with the goods. Not many tourists here. It's pretty much my family that's the tourist here. It's really a big market, really, really big. Um, supposedly everything you ever desire should be here somewhere. And as I have yet to get to know it, I can't really say so much. Yeah, other than it's quite impressive with all these shops. And there's a candy shop here. So this is just candies. We have chips. Machinery for households. Everything you could ever desire is here. So much to see here. So sorry if I lost focus there. A second. Well, quite a lot. Also quite a lot I don't need. But still it's interesting. 
so many things to see. Here we have covers, telephone covers. I think my wife would like to go in there. Let's go in here. Anyway, so um, I'm going to sign off. Uh, when we find some more interesting stuff, I'm going to sign on again. But let's go in here and have a look. Need a barbecue? They have it. Kids clothes? They have it. So much here to see. So much here to buy. Even people you just can't handle the pressure. Nice to take a little nap, middle of the day. Bedding? Not on it. Shirts. This is really a big market. And the prices are not that bad. Compared to Alanya, this is rather cheap. But they are also not all that touristy stuff. Uh, very little Nike, Adidas, copies, stuff like that. Actually, some Muslim dresses, Muslim clothes to cover up. Uh, lots of styles, carpets. Oh, socks. And it does. Uh, here's smells of soap, lots of soaps and different kinds of colors. I uh, have something to drink. Uh, coffee machine run by a bear. Lovely mask. A little place to eat. Tavok donuts for three lira. It's really cheap. Electronics of all kinds, cables, more bags, lots of bags. Trousers. I don't know what that is. Looks like uh, tea sets for different stuff. breakfast meal uh, when we went here our Turkish friend said you have to taste etli ekmek so here we have some etli ekmek and it's served with esma and parsley and uh, lemon and well 
we'll just start digging into it and uh, talk to you later. I'll tell you how it was. So we have eaten our Edli Ekme and to be honest, it was just as good as Lamajun. Uh, you take this pizza-like substance and you put in uh, parsley and the asthma and the lemon and roll it and eat it. And since there is nothing left, I think if I can, can speak out for all of us saying that was a quite pleasing experience. So, so much for that. We tried the Eclair Um It was good. I recommend it if you are in the Konya area. Try it. Why not? <laughs>